Hi guys, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. Going to do a quick update on the uh, rainwater harvesting system. So I went ahead and I've talked about it in the past, but I added the nipple here with the and the Star Murphy has got to be in the show. Uh, I went ahead and installed the hose piece with the nipple on it and then a half inch pipe going here. And what that does is that gives me the water level. You can see the water level is right here. So last night we had a thunderstorm roll through and gave us about a half an inch, of, I'm sorry, a half an inch, gave us one tenth of an inch of rain. So normally that wouldn't do that much because the first flush would flush it all out. However, if it came as a thunderstorm and it came fairly quick, we might have had an increase in water level here. And the reason I say that and the reason it wouldn't show right now is I normally keep this valve right here closed just so we don't get any contaminants or anything else in it. So I just open it once in a while to check on the level. So I'm going to open that now and we'll see if this water level right here changes any because I haven't used any water, but we did get some last night. So I'm opening it and you can see we went up just a very little bit there. So we did get some through. So the first flush system takes about... 12 to 15 gallons of water and then considering we have four three 300 gallon tanks there we probably got uh, what i'd say probably 100 gallons of water last night so some of it was lost to first flush and then it was evenly distributed across the tanks here so this system as far as checking the water level is very very good that way you can see what the water level is when you have the tanks covered up my next project, which I'm just about to get into, is, and I talked about it in a previous video, but over here, I have two inch pipe. Down here, I have two inch pipe coming out. So I don't have a choice in the two inch pipe coming out of the IBC totes. Coming in, I have three inch in two different spots. And the issue I had was my overflow right here comes up, back, over, down, across, and out right here. That's two inch. So what I have is three inch plus three inch coming out with two inch plus two inch. And the other side over here, it goes down, comes underground and connects up here with again, another two inch on the valve here. So my solution is to cut it right here on the bottom side of the valve because these valves are expensive. So I want to keep that. So everything on this side will be two inch. On the other side, everything will be two inch. And what I will do is right in this area right here, I'll dig down and I will connect up a two inch here and I'll connect up from the other side two inch and they will come into a four inch pipe. And then the four inch pipe will have an elbow that comes up and I'll do my overflow system right here and go out and all of that will be four inch. So that should take care of any issue I had. So the issue I had and the reason I wanna do this is with all of the water coming in, if we get a heavy downpour, which we've had a lot of them this year, what I do is I overflow the system because the first flush system, or not the first flush, the overflow system here can't handle all the water. And we end up just dumping water right here by the garage or whatever structure you have. So I wanna make sure that I compensate for that and get as much water out as I can. So I'm limited by the two inches right here, but when I add the two inches together, uh, I, I could probably get away with three inch, but I'm gonna do four inch anyhow. So I will come back in a little while, or actually I'll splice a, the other part of the video once this is complete to the back end of this. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, pardon me if I'm repetitive with anything. I forgot what the actual, the first video had in it. This is actually three days later, because I thought I had an excess of PVC pipe. I did, but it was three inch and I needed four inch. So I had to wait to go to the store. So I have my four inch PVC pipe. So now I can move on with this project. So what I'm gonna do is disconnect. Well, I have to shut off the water on each of the IBC totes, each of the four. And then I will disconnect here and I will cut right at the end here, take this two inch of my old overflow system off and I'll cap it right here, uh, leaving as much two inch pipe as I can get just so that I have options for the future. And then I will use the two inch PVC pipe to come over here and extend out this way and I will convert. I have several different options for converting the two inch to four inch. And what I'll do is I'll right in the same area, I will go up and over with the four inch PVC 
and out. So let me go ahead and start digging and get that to work and then I'll give you another update video. Okay guys, project complete here. Uh, well, not quite complete. I still need to cover up the pipes here. I left them open so you can see what I have going on here. So I needed to move this pipe out just a little bit. So I had to un unbury it all the way or dig it up all the way back to this point right here just because I didn't want to put too much stress in any one given spot. So I have a gradual bend out. Reason being is initially I had it running directly under this two foot section here, but with the four foot, I needed to come out so that I could bring it up in front of it. Uh, so uh, that's the reason for that. Um, I am still able to winterize because I can disconnect right here and I can disconnect right here at this union and that will allow me to take this pipe up including that up to the union and up to here and on the downward side on this pipe I did not glue it so I will have from that section of the pipe down to here uh, up to that rubber union and up to this plastic union that is one separate piece and then there's a union here a union there and that union will allow this front to come off and I have the same on the other side over there so what we have is two inches coming out of the IBC tote connecting all of these together all two inch pipe comes two inch over to here I change it two to four at this point and I add this two foot section here in right at this point so those two come together uh, at four inches and that allows me to let's see uh, it's going to connect together so it can go to the water source over there but it has if the water level in the tank increases above that point right there then I will it will fall over uh, these 290s here and it will go out and it will drain off right now onto the hillside eventually I'll have a swale in the back here and the swale will catch it so that is this project complete let's see was there anything else to show you I showed you my water measuring here uh, the that's one of the thing I was going to show you is up on the top here I was worried about the water catching this is mid-July and I only have and this is only a temporary solution just to get me up to the fall and during the fall I will drain the system and dismantle it at which point I can move the IBC totes I can take them out and actually paint them so the plastic is coming off so the water on the top right now I'm not going to worry about that at all uh, so far we haven't had any bugs I can just manually empty it every couple of weeks when I'm out here and that's only another two months after two three four months I have to deal with that and then after that I'll paint it and it will it will be a non-issue going forward so after I cover up this trench here, this project is complete. Uh, it has been up and operational. I actually ran it down to one quarter uh, but this last weekend before we had a rain, and it's filled up to about three quarters, and they're calling for more rain. Uh, possible thunder showers coming in this afternoon, so maybe we'll fill it up the rest of the way. But this is it for the large water harvesting system. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can put it in the comment section here or on the blog at greatescapefarms.com. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also signing up for my email list on greatescapefarms.com. Thank you guys very much. Bye.